Alright, here I am at it again, and as promised, I said I was going to start with a completely blank Reaper project this time around, and we were going to build up on to something similar to what I had uh, in the uh, program that I did last week. Alright, so here we are with our blank project, and uh, so now we're going to go ahead and build up a um, live uh, play kind of thing like I uh, had last week. And of course I'm going to uh, allow the inner child, the inner teenager to come out for a little play and maybe uh, do something a little bit more abrasive than what I had last week. So let's go ahead and get started. One neat thing that Reaper allows you to do is to, is to uh, make templates. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, insert track from template, and I'm going to choose uh, Tonelib GFX. And I have this set up so that it will load up a blank, uh, a blank channel here. Okay, so I don't have any preset or anything assigned to this, at which point I can then go through my uh, list of presets here and uh, pick out some nice sounds to choose from. Uh, one of my favorite ones that I like to use when I'm playing is uh, my Marshall Eddie Van Halen Overdrive. Uh, it's got a sound similar to, you know, something Eddie Van Halen would have had back in the 80s when doing leads. <laughs> So that's a nice little sound to work with, and why uh, why don't I pan this over to one side a little bit here? All right, and then why don't we add another one? We're going to insert track from template, and uh, let's do another tone lib GFX. Only this time, we're going to turn the center over to the right here, paint it over a little bit. All right, and then let's uh, throw in two stacks of mayhem. And this is a neat little uh, setup that I have here where I have two channels. So it actually s sounds like I have uh, the guitar plugged into both a Marshall stack and an orange crush. Um, this is some pretty meaty rock tone here. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So now we've got a nice little tone going on here. And uh, let's see what else uh, we can add uh, to our uh, little stack here. Well, um, no rock music is going to sound good without a bass, so we've got to add that. And uh, so I'm going to insert another track from a template, only this time I have Guitar to MIDI set up, which I shown um, in uh, my last episode here. All right, and this one, when I go into the effects channels here, I have MIDI guitar and I have a compressor set up for getting, uh, for getting a nice clean tone to send to the MIDI guitar software. Okay, now for, I found for you know when I'm playing um, rock music. And I'm playing at a rapid speed. Using an arpeggiator with a bass just doesn't make sense. Uh, I also notice that my audio is a little up. We're getting close to clipping here, and that's something we want to avoid. So I'm going to reduce these volume levels. Okay, and that includes the bass too. I'm going to bring these down 12 decibels. The objective here is to make noise, but to make good noise. Um, you know, you want something with a little bit of grind, but you don't want, you know, to hear uh, your audio popping and that sort of thing. So I'm very careful about that. 
I especially don't want to blow out my speakers because when I am playing live, I actually have a simple little speaker that I bring with me. Uh, I have one of these things, a uh, W-King, and this also doubles as uh, a battery, and I use this. Uh, I send my sound out from my laptop, and uh, this is just loud enough to play for small little events and that sort of thing, and uh, this is an amazing little speaker. But the thing is, I don't want to blow out that speaker. It's got, you know, it's got, you know, um, it's got a nice bass speaker in the rear for giving um, a nice audio, and uh, I love it. So it probably, the, probably the best little portable speaker that's rechargeable that I purchase. So definitely uh, worth getting if you if you're into playing. It's a W King. They sell them on Amazon. Go check out Amazon. You'll find one. All right, so I don't want to blow out my speakers, so I definitely want to keep the audio nice and low. All right, so let's go ahead and add a bass. All right, and we can also uh, solo this so I can hear what it sounds like. Let's hear what it sounds like with the uh, instruments so I can get a good mix. Alright, I don't want there to be too much presence on the bass and the the two stacks of mayhem, I want that to have a little bit more. Okay, I can work with that. Alright, um, what do I want to do for drums? Hmm, well, I think I have something that's quite brutal here. Why don't I go into my media explorer here and uh, pick out some... 140 beat per minute. That's what I have here. And so um, let me pick out some grooves that I have here. And I want some double bass grooves. This will be fun. Let's just uh, work with these here. Save time programming a, a drum machine to do this stuff. If you have WAV files readily available that you can just drop into a mix. And there are plenty of websites you can get you can get beats like this from. So um, Google is your friend there, or DuckDuckGo, or whichever search engine you prefer to use. All right, and up here I have my loop set here. All right, nice. Okay. Oops, I forgot to put in a new channel. <laughs> Let's insert a new track. Okay, I need to set this record to arm and then uh, input to none here. All right, and then we can move these tracks here. Get our end point here. All right, we're good to go. And then we move the playhead to the beginning, and then we can start jamming with this. Uh, but first, 
I might want to do a few things here. Um, I don't want the drums to be too loud. Let's get a sample of our volume here. <laughs> All right, that is still peaking a little bit, so maybe what I can do is this. I'm pleased with the other audio tracks, so what I can do is select all channels here. All right, and then I can adjust all the volumes together. because I'd want to avoid his peaking as much as possible. This is so much fun. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, well, I want to do something else with this. I mean, it's missing something. Um, but we can fix this here. Why don't I throw Reek in here? This is a really nice plugin, um, which is uh, similar to something you'd uh, expect from uh, some of these uh, paid plugins they have out there. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, this is a little tweak I've done with some other um, pieces I've worked on. So I already know how I like to have my mixer set up for doing some audio. Alright, I think I can work with that. I also want some reverb in here too. Let me uh, kill this down and let's uh, add... Okay, and I got the Tal reverb here, and uh, let's pick a preset. Crystal clear. Let's put that before the EQ. love that sound. Very nice. I'm still new at this, though. I've got a lot of learning to do. I'm sure there's a number of ways I can tweak this audio to do uh, quite a bit more. Um, why don't I even add a new channel and add a synth in here, just for fun. All right, so uh, let's uh, insert a track from Template, and let's uh, do another guitar to MIDI. All right, I'm going to put this one up here. Okay, and, um, hmm. Let's call this synth. All right, and then let's go into this mixer channel here and pick one out. All right, and uh, of course I want the Zen Ed sub effects. 
but it's finding the right one because there's a number of them in here. That's the one I want. All right, what do we want here to add? Maybe add, um, hmm. What sound do I want to go with this? <laughs> oh goodness um definitely not a typical uh sound that you have in a metal mix but uh why not you know uh when you're doing stuff with music you got to do something you know, that makes you sound like you and not like everybody else. So, yeah, that's wicked. I love it. My goodness, I could just sit there for hours playing along with this. Just sit up this way and just start jamming and, you know, doing different chord progressions and stuff and, you know, just coming up with ideas for, you know, music. So, I mean, 
having a reaper in your musical arsenal at home uh, is quite amazing. I mean, 60 bucks for a personal use license on it. It's got a lot of plugins that are awesome. At any rate, that's all I've got today. Uh, I hope you found this uh, to be entertaining and uh, something fun that you can do on your Linux box. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to cover, actually, on my next episode, but I'm sure it'll be something exciting. So until next time, my friends, a little bit of love goes a very long way. So be sure to take some of your time and be excellent with somebody today. Until next time, my friends, peace out. Mm -hmm.